Hey there! Welcome back to the Noctis on YouTube! Several scientific tools offer extraordinary productivity and public recognition, like observatory telescope. These visual wonders, found in places like the early Kitt Peak Observatory and Mount Wilson to the Keck and La Silla, as well as the orbiting Hubble and Webb around Earth, focus giant mirrors and highly sensitive equipment to the sky with the accuracy of a skilled archer. The images they produce, ranging from the first stunning views of black holes to the emergence of new signs of planets in distant galaxies, have captivated both the public and scientists who analyze the information they provide. These top-tier telescopes are the result of creative thinking over decades, combining innovative design with advanced technology to unravel the mysteries of the universe. While the traditional image of an astronomer peering through a telescope's lens is now rare due to digital data analysis, telescopes still have their unique features. Most telescopes use large mirrors to capture light and are placed at high mountain altitudes above the thick atmospheric layers. The technological advancements we currently see in smartphones also influence modern telescopes. In the 1980s, digital cameras and telescopes typically had fewer than 100,000 pixels. However, the camera in the new Vera Rubin Observatory Telescope boasts 3.2 billion pixels, making it the largest digital camera ever. Among the many advanced telescopes spread across the world and outer space, some stand out as the most superior. These telescopes are the reason astronomers are willing to stay up all night. James Webb Space Telescope The James Webb Space Telescope, though it has just recently started its operations after its launch in December 2021, holds immense astronomical potential. Designed as a successor to the Hubble Space Telescope, James Webb aims to investigate the universe in the long wavelength infrared range. This capability allows it to observe objects and phenomena that are difficult or even impossible to see with other optical telescopes. Many researchers eagerly await their turn to use this tool. Similar to Hubble, it's predicted that there will be far more demand than available capacity, potentially leading to groundbreaking scientific discoveries. This infrared telescope boasts an unusual appearance, with a large and striking gold mirror open like a parachute, giving it the appearance of a roller coaster ride. Behind this unique look, there are numerous innovations. One of them is its mirror which is made of newly coated gold beryllium. Furthermore, the telescope is designed to remain cool even when exposed to direct sunlight, a crucial factor for infrared telescopes. When fully operational, we can expect research on potentially habitable exoplanets, the birth processes of stars and the universe's first galaxies. W.M. Keck Observatory Imagine two telescopes at the Keck Observatory resembling a pair of gigantic golf balls standing magnificently at the summit of an inactive volcanic mountain called Mauna Kea in Hawaii, reaching a height of 98 feet. They were the first large telescopes in the modern era. What's interesting is that this became possible due to active optical technology. This technology uses smaller mirror segments that can be individually controlled and adjusted by computers, so there's no need to create a single large and rigid mirror, which would be difficult to maintain its shape due to its heavy weight. These two telescopes can be used separately or together, effectively acting as a single instrument with an aperture as wide as their combined widths, which is 280 feet. 
Since their introduction in the early 1990s, these telescopes have fulfilled significant roles. These giant telescopes have been used to search for planets around extremely distant stars, uncover mysteries of black holes, and investigate how the universe evolves. Hubble Space Telescope Despite its high production cost, this space telescope provides us with uninterrupted images free from urban light pollution and atmospheric issues commonly faced by Earth-based telescopes. Its images are exceptionally clear and detailed. Hubble can be considered the queen of all space telescopes. It's like a silver torch floating in space, equipped with solar panels half the size of a football field, and it has been operational for over 30 years. Initially, Hubble faced a setback with a flaw in its lens that nearly ended its mission. However, with the assistance of NASA's space shuttle, the issue was resolved. Since then, Hubble has produced astonishing images. One of its greatest achievements is the Hubble Deep Field, a collection of thousands of galaxies appearing as if they occupy just a small portion of the sky we see. This research has also aided in understanding the universe's age, estimated at around 13.7 billion years, or possibly 11.4 billion years according to the latest calculations. The images captured by this telescope have also helped astronomers understand that most galaxies have black holes at their centers. Additionally, the Hubble telescope provides a rare opportunity to study nearby planets like Jupiter and Saturn in unprecedented detail, unmatched by previous technologies. Daniel K. Inouye Solar Telescope Located within a large dome at the summit of Haleakala Volcano in Maui, built by the National Solar Observatory, NSO, and operational since 2019. The largest solar observatory telescope to date, DKIS boasts several features that make it an incredibly advanced solar telescope. First, it has a main mirror made of silicon carbide, which is both lightweight and strong. This enables the telescope to gather more sunlight than other solar telescopes. This eliminates the need for a central obstruction commonly found in other reflector telescopes and also aids DKIST in producing clearer and sharper images of our closest star, the Sun. Second, DKSD employs an extremely precise optical system, allowing it to capture high-resolution images of the Sun, down to 0.005 arcseconds. This resolution is sufficient for observing small details on the solar surface, like solar cells and sunspots. Third, DKIST houses various instruments that allow astronomers to study the Sun from different angles. These instruments can be used to study the Sun's structure, dynamics, and composition. This telescope enables detailed studies of the surface and atmosphere of our nearest star, as well as analyses of how the magnetic field influences the Sun's structure. Very Large Telescope The VLT Very Large Telescope is an optical and infrared telescope located at the Paranal Observatory in the Atacama Desert, Chile. The VLT consists of four main telescopes, each with an 8.2-meter primary mirror, and four auxiliary telescopes with 1.8-meter primary mirrors. Built by the European Southern Observatory, the VLT began operations in 1998. The VLT stands as one of the world's most advanced telescopes, boasting high resolution that enables astronomers to observe small details in the universe. The VLT has been used to make various significant discoveries, including the first images of exoplanets orbiting other stars, the first image of a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, and the first images of galaxies billions of light years away. The VLT's resolution power comes from its ability to combine the four telescopes into a single observing tool 
with an aperture equivalent to the total length of the telescopes, a process known as interferometry. This yields an angular resolution of 0.002 arc seconds, a measure of how small an area of the sky can be resolved. The VLT is also credited with the discovery of the most distant gamma ray burst known. Gamma ray bursts close to X-rays on the electromagnetic spectrum indicate highly radioactive sources in the universe, shedding light on sources of energy in the cosmos. Gran Telescopio Canarias, the GTC. Gran Telescopio Canarias is the largest optical and infrared telescope in the world, boasting a primary mirror with a diameter of 10.4 meters. Located at the Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma in the Canary Islands, Spain, the GTC holds several features that make it an incredibly advanced telescope. Firstly, its primary mirror is composed of 36 hexagonal segments, each of which can be individually adjusted for optimal positioning based on their angle and atmospheric conditions. Secondly, the GTC is equipped with a highly precise optical system. This allows the telescope to produce high-resolution images down to 0.004 arc seconds. This level of resolution is sufficient for observing small details in the universe, such as stars and planets. Thirdly, the GTC houses various instruments that enable astronomers to study the universe from various perspectives. These instruments can be used to investigate the structure, dynamics, and composition of the universe. Thanks to the GTC, astronomers recently discovered the most distant black hole known from Earth. This black hole was found in a galaxy emitting rare gamma-ray bursts, using light emitted when the universe was less than 2 billion years old. The GTC has also produced images of the farthest galaxies ever captured, located 500 million light-years away from us. Large Binocular Telescope This telescope has a unique setup compared to other telescopes. It has two mirrors of the same size placed on the same frame, so they move together. This is different from other telescopes, which typically have mirrors on separate frames that can move independently. As a result, this telescope can collect as much light as an 11.8 meter mirror and can provide images with a resolution equivalent to a 22.8 meter mirror. This is a record for telescopes of its size and type. The telescope is also equipped with an adaptive optic system which, under certain conditions, can produce sharper images than the Hubble Space Telescope. Cerro Tololo Blanco Inter-American Observatory The Cerro Tololo Blanco Observatory is located in the Atacama Desert, Chile, known for its clear skies and dry atmosphere. The observatory works for various organizations and universities and has several telescopes, including optical and infrared ones. The largest telescope at the observatory is the Victor M. Blanco telescope with a 4-meter diameter mirror. This telescope is part of the Dark Energy Survey, a mission to understand the mysterious dark energy in the universe. This dark energy affects how galaxies move and their motion through space. The Blanco Telescope uses a special big camera to look at patterns in cosmic structures by making maps of hundreds of millions of galaxies. These maps will help astronomers learn more about the universe and how it was formed. Atacama, Large Millimeter Array Located on the Chajnantor Plateau in the Atacama Desert, Chile, ALMA stands out as the world's largest radio telescope with the most advanced viewing capabilities. With an investment cost of around $1.4 billion, ALMA is not just a monumental achievement in astronomy, but also a symbol of global collaboration. This telescope is not a single entity, 
but is a combination of 66 separate radio antennas. Each of these antennas, which look like large curved dishes or jumbo-sized satellite TV receivers, are scattered across the dry and desolate high desert plateau. What's unique about ALMA is its ability to arrange these antennas at different distances and positions, with the maximum diameter of the overall array reaching up to 10 miles. ALMA focuses on millimeter and submillimeter wavelengths, allowing it to observe space phenomena inaccessible by optical or infrared telescopes. Since it first became operational in 2011, ALMA has provided new and astonishing insights into the world of astronomy. Some of its major achievements include investigating comet materials, the formation of planets outside our solar system, and analyzing the composition of planetary atmospheres like Venus. With every observation, ALMA continues to unveil the mysteries of the universe, deepening our understanding of its origins, evolution, and fate. Chandra X-ray Observatory The CXO Chandra X-ray Observatory is a space observatory launched by NASA in 1999. CXO is one of NASA's four great observatories, along with the Hubble Space Telescope, the Compton Gamma Ray Observatory, and the Spitzer Space Telescope. CXO is an X-ray observatory which means it observes X-rays, a form of electromagnetic radiation with wavelengths shorter than visible light. X-rays can penetrate clouds of dust and gas that block visible light, allowing astronomers to see objects that can't be seen with visible light telescopes. CXO has made many important discoveries about the universe. For instance, CXO has helped astronomers study black holes, supernovae, galaxies, and stars. CXO has also assisted astronomers in understanding how the universe was formed and evolved. Since its launch, CXO has produced images of the remnants of dead stars and discovered black holes throughout the universe. CXO also found what might be a planet outside our galaxy, in the M51 galaxy, also known as the Whirlpool Galaxy. Event Horizon Telescope One of the most intriguing concepts in astronomy is the idea of a virtual telescope, which combines data from many different locations and facilities into a single image. This method helps to enhance the image quality. Well, there's the Event Horizon Telescope that uses radio telescopes from various parts of the world, such as in Europe, South America, and Antarctica. Data from these joint observations are then processed to produce images that can be studied. In 2019, this telescope successfully captured the first image of a black hole specifically in the M87 galaxy. Submillimeter Array This type of interferometer telescope is located on Mauna Kea, an inactive volcano in Hawaii. Using eight six-meter dishes, this telescope works together to create images. Its main focus is on the processes of star formation and death, black holes, and other formations at the heart of galaxies, along with the thermal and spectral emissions from various entities in our solar system. For various study purposes, the dishes can be relocated with specific transportation equipment. This equipment ensures that the temperature of the radio receiver is maintained during the process, allowing the receiver to operate optimally during observations. The Magic Telescope, a pair of uniquely designed instruments called the Magic Cherenkov Atmosphere Imaging Telescope catch attention. They are specifically crafted to study high energy gamma rays from our galaxy and other galaxies in the universe However, detecting these gamma rays is challenging since ordinary mirrors can't capture them 
and their wavelengths are so short that they pass through most detection devices. The telescope named Major Atmospheric Gamma Imaging Cherenkov, MAGIC, boasts a large mirror with a diameter of 17 meters, custom made for gamma ray detection. They search for light that emerges as gamma rays enter Earth's atmosphere. To support this endeavor, the telescope is constructed with slender carbon fiber structures. These instruments are used to investigate phenomena like star explosions, galactic centers, and dark matter. Operation involves 24 astronomical organizations from various countries across the globe. The Gemini Observatory. Two silver dome telescopes command attention. They are situated in different locations, namely Chile and Hawaii. However, they collaborate as a single observatory system. Their primary aim is to provide views of stars and planets from all over the Earth, both in the northern and southern hemispheres. These advanced telescopes come with special features, such as employing laser beams directed into the sky to measure atmospheric disturbances and enhance captured images. The mirrors in these telescopes are also coated with silver, enabling them to produce superior infrared images. It's important to note that while some telescopes are accessible to all astronomers, others can only be utilized by institutions involved in their construction and maintenance. The Gemini Observatory is an example that can be used by all astronomers from various countries engaged in the International Gemini Observatory. Giant Magellan Telescope Comprising seven of the largest individually crafted mirrors ever made, arranged in a pattern resembling a large flower, this telescope promises both aesthetic beauty and breathtaking views. Each mirror segment with an 8.4 meter diameter weighs 18 tons and takes four years to create due to the precision and finesse required. Once operational, this instrument will house 10 different instruments for studying the composition of distant planets and the early formation of galaxies. Vera C. Rubin Observatory Named in honor of the American astronomer Vera Rubin, who led studies on galaxy formation, this observatory will adopt a slightly different approach to observing the universe. Through its primary telescope, the Simoni Survey Telescope, the observatory will conduct wide-field observations of the sky, rather than focusing on specific targets. With a 3.2 gigapixel resolution camera, the largest digital camera ever built, the observatory will scan the entire sky every few days. Images will be captured every 15 seconds within a 20-second interval, with 5 seconds allocated for telescope orientation. The result will be an ever-updating sky survey, allowing astronomers to study the movements and changes of celestial targets, as well as rapid events like supernova and swiftly moving asteroids. Extremely Large Telescope Currently, there's an impressive project underway to create the ELT Extremely Large Telescope. This telescope boasts an exceptionally large primary mirror, measuring 39 meters across. The mirror is composed of numerous hexagonal segments, each with a diameter of 1.4 meters. In the future, this telescope will far surpass the size of the largest optical telescopes currently in use. This will enable the telescope to observe Earth-like planets within our galaxy and study their atmospheres. Additionally, it's anticipated that this telescope could be the first tool capable of detecting signs of life on other planets. This will be achieved through spectrographic analysis, which examines the atmospheric composition of these planets. 
The telescope also features an enormous dome, standing at a height of 262 feet and a diameter of 290 feet. The entire structure, including its supports, will weigh around 3,700 tons.